Yo, 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 it's your boy West the Tech here to bring you another one of my personal favorite tech tips to help you as an artist grow in your craft. Now, today we're gonna go over how to register with BMI, all right? So if you're an independent artist and you're looking into registering with BMI, then this is the video for you, all right? So if you're new to this and you don't know exactly what BMI is, BMI is a PRO, all right? And what that stands for is, is a performance rights organization all right now what these organizations actually do is is they collect your royalties for you when it comes to public and broadcasted performances all right such as live performances film television you know restaurants clubs website radio all of those different things they actually collect your royalties for that you are due when your song is being used in all of those different mediums all right now if you don't have a pro then you could be missing out on those royalties so this is something that you definitely have to do as an independent artist well as any artist all right but in this video specifically i'm gonna go over how to register with bmi specifically all right now i must use this as a disclaimer to let you guys know that bmi is specifically for the us all right if if you are in another country all right then it's probably going to be another performance rights organization all right so you have to look into what pros are available for your country all right but you're if you're in the u.s bmi is actually one of the top three performance rights organizations in the u.s i i don't even think there's any more than three but bmi is one of the top three as a matter of fact here are the other two major pros which is ascap and csac all right now me personally you know, I've done research on all three of them and I per, per, um, specifically prefer BMI and ASCAP over CSAC, all right? Even though CSAC is older than those two combined, all right? But when I look at all the benefits and all the perks and all the way that they operate, BMI is, and ASCAP are the two better ones, all right? But me personally, I prefer BMI, all right? Now, I did do a video not too long ago of the difference between ASCAP and BMI. So if you're, if you're really deciding between those two, you can definitely click on the link above, all right? And that's a video I did explaining the key differences between the two. But really, you're looking at oranges and oranges. They're not too different from each other you know outside of the perks all right now going right into it in this video in particular we're going to actually go over how to register with BMI all right so first and foremost what you want to do is of course go to BMI.com now I usually do this on a computer and I always advise you know other artists to do it on a computer as well because it's just easier to do on a computer of course you could do it on your mobile phone that option is there for you as well but you, if you have a computer go ahead and do it on a computer it's easier to do it on there and for the sake of the of this tutorial I'm gonna do it on a computer as well all right so first and foremost like I said what you want to do is just go to BMI.com all right once you're at BMI.com what you're then gonna want to do is is go ahead and click on creator because you're an artist you're a writer you're a songwriter all right so you click on creator all right once you click on creator it's gonna bring you to the creator tab all right then if you can see on the far right hand corner all right in green it says join BMI today right here all right so you're gonna go ahead and want to click on that all right once you click on that they're gonna give you the option to join as a songwriter or join as a publisher you're gonna of course want to join as a songwriter unless you already have a publishing company all right but for most independent artists you know especially the ones starting out you don't have a publishing company yet so you're just gonna register as a songwriter all right so go ahead and click on the left one in the bottom join as a songwriter all right the moment you click on that a form is gonna come up that looks just like this all right and they are gonna require you to enter in your personal information all right this is not like you know you could just put in any information you actually have to put in your personal information I will and I'll take it a step further to let you guys know is they will actually ask for your social as well all right you got to understand when it comes to this organization they're actually going to be collecting money on your behalf and that money is going to be taxed all right so all of this information has to be entered in accurately so don't put your artist name under name put your actual government name put all of your 
exact information in all of these sections, all right? Because we are dealing with some official stuff right now, all right? Once you enter in all that information, you hit next, they are then gonna require you to put in your social for proof of identity. See, like I told you, anything dealing with taxes and money, things like that, they need to make sure that you are who you say you are. So you gotta put in your social and you gotta put in your date of birth, all right? Once you put those two things in, the next thing is gonna go ahead and ask is, if you're affiliated with another or uh, another PRO as we speak. Now, the reason they ask this question is because you cannot be a part of another P or two PROs at the same time, all right? You can only be registered with one at a time. So if you're watching this video and you're already with ASCAP, or CSAC, all right? You have to terminate with one of with those first before you can sign up with BMI. Matter of fact, if you hit yes, they're gonna ask you what other PRO that you're with, and they're also gonna ask you for the exact date that you terminated with them, all right? So like I said, if you already have another PRO and you're just getting BMI now, Make sure the other one is terminated first, all right? But for most people who starting off, you probably don't have one anyway. Just hit no, all right? And then you hit next, all right? Once you hit next, they're then going to bring you to the review page where you review your information and make sure everything is correct, all right? Once you skim this over and you see that everything is connect, then you go to the last page, which is where you basically look at the contracts and agreements, all right? Now, there's three different documents that you're gonna have to review before you're able to check them. And how it works is you click on the document, it's gonna pop up in another window, Go ahead and take the time to read it. It's good information for you to know. Go ahead and print it out to make sure that you have it as part of your records, all right? But after you click on each document and review them, they will allow you to check them off, all right? Once you check all three of them off, you're gonna scroll down to the bottom and it's gonna require you to do one more check off box, which is your electronic signature, all right? And it's gonna, it's gonna have your name there as well as the date that you're actually submitting the application, all right? Once you check that last one and you hit next, you the the process is complete you just submitted your form all right now with bmi they do take five to seven days so they do take up to a week all right to approve your application but once your application is approved they're going to send you an email letting you know that it is approved and then from that point you could actually create your your account all right using the email that you used all right and from there once your account is created you're all set now, from this point on, once you have your BMI set up and everything's ready to go, every time you re release a song, you wanna also register that song with BMI to make sure that if that song gets played in any of those mediums that I said earlier, all right, that you are actually getting your royalties collected for it, all right? This is outside of the royalties that you get from streams, all right? These, this is a whole separate set of royalties that you could be missing out on if you don't sign up for a PRO, which is why I did this video to show you exactly how to sign up for BMI specifically, all right? But either way, if you have any additional questions or if there's anything you don't understand within the process, feel free to comment in the comment section below, all right? If you have any other additional questions in regards to anything in regards to the music business, music industry tips, making music, you know, just anything about music whatsoever, feel free to reach out to me, all right? My name is West of Tech, all right? You can literally Google me, you know, I'm on all social media platforms at with that with that tag, at West of Tech, all right? But either way, I'm here to help you guys, you know, feel free to contact me, all right? And whatever you need, trust me, I comment back, I message back, go ahead and subscribe, all right? Because I'm always bringing out information to help you, all right? But again, guys, either way, Thanks for tuning in. I hope this helped and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.